Okay, so this is what we want to do. We want to listen to some of this untuned. Okay, now we want to listen to this tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 52, Echoes and Overlays. In today's episode, we set out to work further with um, what we're calling Extract 2 in 3 time. And we wanted to expand the material and, and the sense of conclusion at the end of the piece. And we did that. And we reflected upon the way we, we ended up doing more of what we call raw composition. So sometimes you're composing from just uh, putting notes on the page and listening and mushing them around and listening for something pleasing. And sometimes we get, oh, that sounds good. Now let's copy the pattern. And, and we were thrown back into raw composition to, to kind of um, expand our material. So what we've completed is we have completed an extract to first pass, which is what you heard on the left hand side here. In other words, we had, um, we actually did a line diagram for it, our good old favorite line diagram here on the left. Um, uh, all the parts, intro one, pattern one, etc., etc., etc. have been identified here on the left-hand side. And then we gave them a, uh, uh, two energy scores. How loud and soft were they and what was the harmony? Was it uh, tonic, rest, subdominant, float, dominant, urge, or ambivalent clash? And uh, we got a chart out of that. And then we looked at the chart because we still wanted to tune this thing and our ears were getting tired of hearing the bang, 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 bang all over it. And so we used our eyes to complement our ears. And we have a, the chart is here somewhere. Where is it? Come here. Uh, there it is. So this is the energy chart. And this is the tuned version. And the tunings that we did is we went back and we softened and loudened several sections. And you heard us comparing them. Uh, a few minutes ago on the intro. And so this is our new energy chart. And the interesting thing is it suggested that we have four parts, a one and a two and a three and a four, even a little fifth part at the end. And that was not what we were expecting. We were expecting, and we had actually shown different partitionings based on pure chord function. But one of the things we've learned that we like to do is if you take out the dynamic multiplier like this, you can see there's an awful lot of uh, structure that comes from the underlying harmony. These are all ambivalences here, ambivalences, ambivalences, whereas we've got a lot of tonics and subdominants. And, and uh, if you take out the... Uh, harmony and just look at dynamic, we have um, this kind of a structure, which looks, I don't know, it, it looks flat, but it turns out that this was how we tuned the thing, because when you turn, turn this back on, oops, there, uh, we were able to start rounding the curves. In other words, if we didn't have a dynamic in there, it, there's no curving for one thing. There are no curves and it's flat and it sounded flat and, and we didn't like that. Um, so that's what we ended up with. So what we're going to do 
to take us home is play the piece for you and and try to track it on the left hand side with our little chart our little chart here because it's kind of fun and we'll turn the mic off temporarily and then we'll come back and take us home here we go So we're kind of pleased with that. Our ideas for next time are basically to continue working with the extract and explore it. And one of the ideas would be to, what would it sound like with different timbres, flutes, French horns, oboes, polyphonic synthesizers? We don't know. Uh, but we are pleased that this turned out, that the tuning helped. It was a key, 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 key. Where did we, did we put it here? A key idea to rest our ears, to rest our ears and turn to our eyes. That was kind of the key, a, a key learning here, or a key new reminder, I guess, to ourselves. I mean, we've done the charts before, lots of times. Uh, many many charts are down here that we've looked at in this series but this time it's we just we we made it from scratch we didn't copy and paste all those old gory detailed we just kind of made a quick chart on the fly with only two factors the dynamic and the harmony and between that and our eye and then uh, figuring out where to put the mfs and the fs in there came up with something that was to our ear materially materially better sounding so we're we're kind of chuffed with that so that concludes today's stream thank you for your time interest and attention hope to see you at the next stream do come back and as always keep on streaming <laughs>